Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today we'll be talking about Galaxy Facts. So in this video I'm just going to give you some useful information and facts about galaxies. Some of it is quite simple, and some of it is quite complex. So, let's talk about galaxies. A galaxy is a massive group of stars, star clusters, interstellar gas, and dust. And not forgetting dark matter where it's all gravitationally bound together. There are potentially more than 170 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Some of them are called dwarf galaxies. These are very small, with about 10 million stars, while some of the huge galaxies contain about 100 trillion stars. Astronomers base galaxies on their shape. These various different kinds of galaxies include elliptical galaxies, spiral galaxies, and irregular galaxies. Our Milky Way galaxy is called a barred spiral galaxy. This means that it contains a large bar in the middle, with spiral arms coming off at each end. Around two-thirds of the spiral galaxies in the universe contain a bar-like structure at its center. Spiral galaxies are basically disc-shaped galaxies, with at least two spiral arms, and these are filled with new stars that extend out from a central bulge of older stars. Spiral galaxies are believed to be younger than elliptical galaxies, as a spiral galaxy burns through their gas and dust, their star formation actually slows down, and because of this they actually lose their spiral shape and slowly evolve into elliptical galaxies. The Hubble classification scheme lists spiral galaxies as type S, with an A or B or C depending on how tight the spiral arms are to the size of the central bulge, and barred spiral galaxies have a symbol of SB. Elliptical galaxies are often very large, they're very old, and they contain little gas and dust. This means that there is not a lot of star formation within these galaxies. The Hubble classification scheme actually identifies elliptical galaxies as the letter E, followed by a number representing the degree of ellipticity. These are molecular clouds filled with hydrogen gas and dust. These are very dense and are found in the spiral arms of the spiral galaxies, in the areas of immense star formation. Our own Milky Way galaxy is a barred spiral galaxy, about 120,000 light years in diameter, and it contains an estimated 400 billion stars, and possibly just as many planets. and any other galaxy that doesn't seem to be a spiral or elliptical shape is called an irregular galaxy. Some of these irregular type galaxies actually formed as a result of other galaxy types crashing into each other. Leticular galaxies, which are symbol S0, have a bright central bulge with a disk-like structure. But unlike spiral galaxies, the disks have no spiral structure and also are not actually forming many new stars. Supermassive black holes are believed to actually sit in the centre of most galaxies. Galaxies often collide with each other. Usually the stars within the galaxies don't actually collide, it's just usually the dust and gas. And this dust and gas that actually collides and interacts with each other actually form new stars. Gravity can pull galaxies into new shapes, so two spiral galaxies might actually collide to create an elliptical galaxy. Starburst is a name for galaxies that form a lot of stars at a very fast rate. This is probably because molecular clouds are actually created when galaxies actually merge. Our solar system is located within the Milky Way disk, around 27,000 light-years from the galactic centre of the galaxy. Our Milky Way galaxy is part of the local group of galaxies. This is basically a group of galaxies that are gravitationally bound. 
the Andromeda Galaxy is the largest within the local group, followed by the Milky Way and the Triangulum Galaxy. And also there are around 30 other smaller galaxies within this group. So I hope that's given you a great insight into anything about galaxies. I'm pretty sure that I've covered a lot, and I hope that you've learnt a lot. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.